Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Nigel Anderson, who is the Minister of the Livingston Free Church. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this opportunity to address you this afternoon. The name Reinhard Strecker may not be familiar to many today. Earlier this summer, I had the extraordinary privilege of meeting this man, now 86 years of age, in Berlin. I was having coffee with a friend outside the building where a service was about to take place, commemorating the 22nd July 1944 assassination plot on Hitler. An elderly gentleman, Reinhard Strecker, came over to sit beside us, and for the next hour we were spellbound at his story. He told of his liberation by a Scottish regiment in 1944, then spoke of his post-war work exposing by documentation the crimes of Nazi judges still holding judicial positions in West Germany. Here was a man of immense courage who, in the face of much opposition from his own countrymen, sought justice and truth that many wished suppressed. And the question is asked, to what extent was his upbringing a factor in his courageous quest for justice? In an interview last year, Strecker spoke of the influence of his Christian parents. His father was an anti-Hitler judge at a time when 90% of the German judiciary were members of the Nazi party. Then he said something quite telling. That had to do with the fact that for my parents, church and religion still meant something. And whether in Germany in the midst of totalitarian rule or in the freedoms of 21st century Scotland, the church and religion still mean something. The German theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer, admired by Strecker, said this of the church. The church is the church only when it exists for others, not dominating, but helping and serving. It must tell men of every calling what it means to live for Christ, to exist for others. As a Christian, I rejoice in the influence of my own denomination, the Free Church of Scotland, in that telling what it means to live for Christ and exist for others through the preaching the, go the gospel of Jesus that continues to transform lives and through involvement in such humanitarian work as drug and alcohol recovery programs in Govan and the work of supporting projects in rural Kenya for the improvement of educational facilities there, for the good of others and the glory of God. That is the church and religion that has much to offer in following the example of Jesus, who came to serve in giving his life for others. Thank you. 